Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Jumbo braids gang for a little while. Beads on the end too. Feeling like poetic justice. As you can see from the title of this video, today we're talking about Black Lives Matter, the movement, everything that's been going on and how you can help and what you can do now and what you can do next. I want to make it clear that this video is about black lives. Not all lives. Not people of colour. <laughs> This is not people of colour matter, this is black lives matter. I've been wanting to make this video for a little while but I've been feeling a little under the weather but I'm here now and that's all that matters. So a couple of weeks ago a video uh, surfaced of George Floyd being murdered by the police. Um, this is not the first of the kind, there has been an array of police brutality videos um, in the past um, but George Floyd's video seems to have sparked the need for change in so many people and it's created a major movement across the not even the country not even like just America and the UK across the world around the same time it wasn't just George's video that was servicing but we were hearing stories of Belly Majinga uh, we were hearing stories of Breonna Taylor there was so many names going around of things that were happening to people right now the old things were resurfacing like it was a lot. People across the world started protesting, started rioting, people were ready and this is a conversation that's been going on for a very long time and the spark that happened and the fact that like everyone's in lockdown and didn't have work so everyone was able to come out and be a part of this made it so much bigger, so much better and so much more influential across all sorts of governments like not just in the UK, not just in the USA. I don't know if you've seen on Twitter everything, the the protests that have been happening. One horse was doing Lloyd's test, TSB, running, flying, kicking people in the eye. How did that happen? Police, tell me. The whole conversation online began to change. Everyone online was talking about Black Lives Matter. It is happening right now, like, and this is maybe about two weeks later. Today, even there's a march going on, and <laughs> Tommy Robinson told his people to come down, and he's just proven us right. <laughs> but that's not what we're here to talk about today. But a lot of black people will tell you they've experienced the racism, even though the people in the UK will tell you that it's not there. <laughs> I feel like in other countries it's very much more out there and open, and people will just tell you to your face, and then there's fights and. But in the UK, it's a lot more undercover. People don't really say it, they just say it behind your back. All that we go through, I know. We don't want to change our skin colour. We don't want to change our skin colour. We don't want to be like anyone else. We just want the equality. And for someone to turn around and say, yeah, but... Huh? What do you mean, yeah, but? Equality is something that I shouldn't even be asking for. I feel like I need to say, we, we need to remember this is not a trend, this is real life, black lives matter. <laughs> we need to keep the conversation going, we need to keep working with the black lives matter movement. Condolences and rest in peace to all of the f like families and to the people who have died at the hands of racist people, like, what is that? What can you do? now what can you do to help and what can you continue doing first off you can join protests you can join the conversation online like there's a whole load of speaking going on online and you can definitely be about be a part of that you can raise awareness online 100 percent. you can you can take a step from the online and take part in the protest if that's what you can do coronavirus is still around coronavirus is still a thing so i wouldn't say like you should force people to be going to protests and stuff like that but if you can and if you feel like you can go to a protest and be a part of that then definitely do it i was there and i've i've been a part of that even though i was scared to leave my house because coronavirus is real but i had to do it write to your mp obviously it depends on what you want to talk about but you could talk about the inquest into Belly Majinga's case or you could talk about uh, diversity and I don't know you can you can write to your MP about whatever you're feeling about this situation about Black Lives Matter and what you can do like and what the MPs can do to help 
something else you can do you can start to support more black owned businesses like we need to level the playing ground in terms of product and and realistically like real life businesses you can donate to causes that are helping with the black lives matter movement or helping to raise awareness of these things or helping to diversify different areas donate to the people that are doing the work like if you if you can't do the work donate to the people who can and obviously like not everyone has the funds or the money to be able to do that if you don't then you need to you need to pass it on you need to be a sharer you need to be a voice that is is sharing these things another thing you can do if you can't especially if you you're unable to donate money um is you can sign petitions it's free to do online most of the time um you can sign you can sign to make a change you might think oh like thousands of people are going to sign this you might be that one person that makes a change to make that petition go through and pass a law. Like, you never know, especially as an, a non-black person, uh, you can educate yourself on these issues, on the histories, on how we've got to where we are now. You can educate yourself on Black Lives Matter and how Black Lives Matter has become such a thing. Mm -hmm. Educate yourself on why black people feel the way that they do and stuff like that. That is all to be found. There's, there's books across the board. You can find them. You can easily buy them on Amazon. It doesn't just have to be the bad things. You can educate yourself on how black people have influenced your country and other countries. It's very very easy to educate yourself on those things it just takes a bit of reading Something else you can do you can call out your racist friends and family members whether that is in person or online sometimes you might be in the room with someone who says something and you let it slide well now's the time well you should have been stopping that from before but i know it's that some people get a little bit shy with their voice well now's the time to use your voice like say that that's wrong in your household side because people go outside and say that outside of your household and this is again for non-black people there are people who are obviously opposing to what is going on right now call out your friends and family if you have to like and i know it can be hard but sometimes it has to be done sometimes people say because i'm crazy stuff something i think people who are not black also need to do is check their own bias um I get about black people like how do you like think about how you view black people and whether that's right before you even this is before you even call anyone out to be honest something you can do is you can hold big companies accountable for their behavior their mistakes um i know recently starbucks apparently said people can't use black lives matter like paraphernalia or like can't wear anything to do with it or put it up anywhere in their in Starbucks um, and that blew up online and everyone knows about it now and a lot of people have said they're no longer going to Starbucks so it works hold hold these big companies accountable I think the movement has created such a momentum that we need to keep going even though the news might overlook what's going on or social media might die down I think we need to all remember to keep doing the work that fundamentally needs to be done so that black lives are mattering for real like you can say it but if, if there's not a change in reality, it, it doesn't mean anything. Like, we have to remember, people are dying. We need to do the work to make sure pr police brutality stops. It's not just in the USA, it's in the UK as well. You may not hear of it as much, and maybe not as many people die, but you have to remember America's bigger than here. They also have more guns and stuff out there, right? So that's why you hear more about that. But here, it's still happening. This is far from the end. This is basically the beginning the biggest i've ever seen the black lives matter movement have anything happen and it's like everyone has come together people are still dying i heard about a guy who was found hung from a tree and they're trying to say it's suicide but it's blatantly not these things are still happening and we need to we need to keep the momentum going all sorts of establishments have started to realize and ignite a change in their company um to make it more diverse, um, to diversify their boards. This is something they should have done before. This is something they should have been doing. However, even though it's come at a time when it should have been happening way back when, at least it's happening. We, we didn't opt in to this situation. We didn't opt into the oppression. We didn't 
opt in to the, the brutality that we receive so it's not really for the black people to the to do the work the black people can't undo the work of what the white people have done the white people are going to need to undo it for themselves this is spiraling out of control people are hating people because of their skin color something that they were born with why because of history because of a past because of stereotypes and discrimination because of those stereotypes so yes i'm calling to all of you everyone who watches this video everyone who this video has been shared to be an ally please come and be a part of the black lives matter movement if you haven't already been a part of it thank you guys for watching this video like comment and subscribe and i hope this helps um i've had a lot of people ask me these things and what they can do from now like what's gonna happen next and the, the truth is we don't know we don't know what's gonna happen next like who knew that tommy robinson was gonna send his people down to parliament and now they're all fighting with themselves who knew that, that was gonna happen like comment and subscribe and please share with your friends because it might help someone and you never know bye guys